Okay. We are up to the next tier. Let's start on Jaguar next, probably. Just because I'm most familiar with Jaguar and I know what this boss is. Um, huh. Okay, stats, money, stats, weapon, upgrade, question mark, stats. We want to stack as many stats as we can early on. And not so much relics, because the relics get better. Like, way better later on. Never finished a run of this. It's not an easy roguelike. I... If there was a rogue... Well, I don't know. I I feel like this game would benefit from having a... Uh, a the Hades-style god mode on. Where... If you die... Uh, let's see. If you die, you get, like, a, a stacking X percentage damage reduction. I feel like that could actually be quite nice. I don't know if I'd necessarily go for it. I did it on Hades because my hands were in a really bad way for a while. Uh, I don't think I'd do it if Hades came out now. And I did turn it off for, like, the 1.0. But, like, Hades God Mode is just so perfect for people that aren't good or can't play games. I I really needed to do a video on this. I let's sit down and probably just take a week off to make video essays. Like just just a whole week just say, "You know what? No. I got enough of a backlog on the various things that I play. Let's just make a bunch of video essays talking about stuff." Uh, but I want to do one on how accessibility options are kind of the future uh, for game feel. Because I've seen a lot of, like, really accessibility-minded mi games coming out. I don't just mean, like, colorblind focus, though that is a huge one. Hey, that's kind of boring, but I'll take it anyway. Um, so what is, what is God Mode in Hades? It uh, Every time you lose in Hades, it gives you a, a permanent H, uh, damage reduction. Which is really nice. Do I want to go for max health? Do I want to go for the damage? Let's go for the max health. I find that tends to be just better, since so much of the healing is percentage-based. And so, Supergiant is good with accessibility. Uh, yeah, relatively good. But, uh, let's see, what was I playing? Revita the other day. You can change a lot of different settings uh, from straight-up auto-aim to, uh, to reducing the game's overall speed. And one thing I've definitely noticed recently is that... I actually would love to play more games at, like, 90% speed. Because it gives me just that little bit of extra time to react. That feels just so good. Because that was kind of my problem with Sekiro and Bloodborne. That I wish they were just a little bit slower. So that I had... I wasn't just, like, constantly redlining myself just to beat them. I just thought it was actual god mode, which I didn't understand in roguelike. Totally understandable. Can I, like, push this around? I wish I could. I can't. Shame. That's fine. Okay, so we're going attributes. Dark Souls slow or faster than that? I would say Dark Souls 2 slow. Because Dark Souls 2 is a little bit faster... But not so fast. I felt like Dark Souls 3, especially for some of the bosses, started to get Bloodborne fast because I think they, they really wanted to make like another Bloodborne. And I think I should go back and play Bloodborne again now that I'm older, better, wiser. Uh, and have played a shit ton more Dark Souls. Uh, just to see, like, it doesn't still feel that sl uh, Let's see. In damage taken in gold. Yes, absolutely. That is amazing. Uh, let's see. Really use a hammer here. We should probably save our skulls to get uh, 
two-handed weapon unlocks. There we go. Ow. That's not what I wanted. I tried rolling through it way too early, but still. Health and treasure finds. I mean, these two are the ones that I like. <sighs> Spending that extra... What is that? 385. Just to get both is kind of tough. I'm going to do it, though. Stats are really helpful. Yeah, Bloodborne is your kind of speed for a Souls game, but you wish you didn't have to farm blood vials. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just go with kind of like a... Well, what if blood vials were straight up like the Estus flask? You get, uh, you you will randomly get upgrades that increase. Uh, you you will randomly get upgrades that increase its well randomly. You will find upgrades that increase the amount you can carry. Uh, but they recharge every once in a while depending on what you've done. I don't know, but truly, like if if Bloodborne or Sekiro straight up said like, hey. Uh. Everything is shooting at me. Okay, there we go. Going to avoid for a second. There we go. There's two down. But when they launched it said, Hey, what kind of speed do you want to play at? And it's effectively just easy, medium, and hard. Or, how big do you want your parry window to be? I, uh, actually, really good example of this. There's a game called No Place for Bravery that's coming out, which is a ultra-hard Souls-like, and I'm really looking forward to it because the the very beginning of the game says, "What kind of uh, what kind of difficulty are you looking for?" And then from there you can set like how big is your parry window, how fast do things move, and it felt so good. It was obviously like a really Tough as nails game, even with the settings carrying me forward. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting a greed kill meter on this one. I guess I might be able to keep the meter up just a bit. Okay, times four. There we go. And so it's like, I don't know. For me, it's always really exciting when I see games that actually have difficulty options like that because it means that I'm not necessarily going to get stuck because the game is weirdly hard. Uh, let's see. So we do have a Smith & Wesson. I don't think I really care about any of these. Cause oh wait, no. This is just the straight up regular scorpion spear. It good. Nah, use favor. We grab a hammer. Just because. Yeah, let's let's just pick up a really cheap hammer so I can get into things. I was really hoping for a better weapon than this, but I'll take what I can get. You see, Port of Bloodborne is on his way, but still TBA. Is it really? I I was under the impression that Sony was just going to hold on to that one for forever, but then again, they are. Uh, I mean, they did put Horizon Zero Dawn on PC, so why not actually have Bloodborne on PC? God, I would I. I would absolutely play Bloodborne again if it was on PC. I'd probably try and wrangle my friends, though. That's the other thing about Souls games. They're, like, the best co-op games I have ever played. 
And it is such a travesty that their multiplayer is just so jank. Or toxic. Like, I know a lot of people are like, invasions are how the, ma how the game is meant to be played. And it's like, boy, have you ever run into an invader that is just going hyper speed because they're hacking. And then they just backstab you from behind from like a million miles away. Like, ugh. well, I clearly should not have bought this hammer. Upgrade it so it does more damage. Yeah, but it's a bad hammer. It having to deal with co-op. When, uh, invaders when playing co-op with your friends. Yup. I was trying to teach my brother how to play, uh... Uh... Get a better weapon if I go to the next one. Yeah, I'm just gonna tough it out with the hammer that I have. Um, Sony also did put Detroit Become Human on PC. I think they just bought exclusivity as opposed to really owning that one. I could be wrong, though. Boy, this hammer slaps. Hammers just in general in this game. Especially because it's got that just swank-ass stun. Just knocks things around. It would have kill for just a start-to-finish co-op mode for any of the Souls games without the constant summoning between bosses and... Yeah. I... I would... I would buy three copies in a heartbeat for Dark Souls co-op mode where you just play through the game once or maybe even three times, who cares. I'll, I'll be fine with the fight bosses three times, one for every player, as long as I don't have to resummon between it and as long as some shithead invader doesn't come in and just like send us back to the start. It's like, I just... I can live without that kind of neg negative energy. And absolutely, like, leave it there. Make the PvP mode, uh, like, support that, too. Add more. Make it more interesting. You know, make, make it even that uh, invaders can do all sorts of crazy stuff, like move enemies around or who knows what. Just don't force me to have to deal with it. I'd be so happy. Yeah, Dying Light gave the option to turn off the invasion. I... Also, to be honest, I liked the invasions to some degree in Dying Light because it was kind of this bonus thing. It interrupted you for sure. These are all bad. Like, the torture ring's kind of good, but these are all bad. Let's ignore them. Let's keep going for the stats. Evasions are especially terrible for, be uh, for streamers because of stream sniping. Yup. Yeah, I, I definitely had some days where my co-op series of Dark Souls 2 got absolutely wrecked. Hi. That's so satisfying. It was like one invader too that would just kind of troll around and wait for us. It was just... Ah, it was the most annoying thing just dealing with the guy because we'd start streaming and then you just pop in and stab. Gosh, it was probably like Durf in the back or something. Excuse me. Oh. Didn't think that one guy would recover fast enough. I guess he did. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see, damage and treasure, fine. Yeah, let's keep, let's just keep grabbing these. You can opt into the PvP in Dark Souls by restoring humanity, which is how you enable co-op. Yeah, I just, I don't know. But yeah, like a full-on arena deathmatch mode. Or, uh, a mode for Dark Souls that's straight up doing the, uh, like going for the invasions, or like having it on. Gives you bonus resources, drop rarity, which is actually how humanity worked in the original one. Because, yeah, I, I really enjoyed playing uh, Remnant from the Ashes in co-op with Shell. It was especially nice because I didn't have to worry about some asshole just showing up to wreck my day.
One, two, three. I guess what I should probably do. Oh, that sucked. Wish I did just slightly more damage. On the plus side, I get gold every time I take a hit. So getting hit isn't so bad. And the vulnerability does not last long. Alright, that's pretty good. Love how fast stamina comes back in this game. It's so good! Let's see, what is your favorite weapon in this game? Scorpion Spear followed by any hammer. And even then, Scorpion Spear only because the poison is insane. Seeker's Mace. Uh, let's see. Extra base damage per level of relics carried. Extra damage if secondary weapon is a, is a dagger. And just bonus base da damage. That's a punchy little thing there. Uh, no, let's restore some max HP. That was a good relic, but I don't think I needed that bad. Okay. Let's go weapon stats, money stats. I'm just stacking stats, stats if, if I can. Taking any damage triggers a wave of darkness, extinguishing any fire. Okay, that's fine. That's my only curse, right? Yeah, we got rid of the other one. There we go. Man, this hammer hurts. I don't know. I might have to be stuck with this thing if only because... Oomph. Okay, so we gotta stay away. This sucks. Okay, there goes the healer. goes one. Bonus damage for whips. Now let's restore the HP. Man, being able to recycle those for health is so nice! Okay, there we go. Boy, that, that hurts him bad. And no great bonus, but all the extra health is super nice. Alright, so what do we got? There's the Jewel Hammer for the Illumination, but the Seeker's Mace actually does about the same amount of damage. Good if secondary weapon is a shield. 25% chance to automatically trigger a parry. Good with claws. I don't know. I might, I might actually... Oh, ta, 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 ta. that's tough. I might want to pick up the Whispering Aegis. Nah, let's reroll. I. Twenty five percent chance to ignore damage. Eh. Uh. 
Yeah, let's grab the spear. I like my hammer. But I did say this is my favorite spear. Can I get rid of that? No. But yeah, this thing also removes corruption, so I figured I'd go for the corruption option. It's gonna pay for itself very slowly. But it will pay for itself. Let's see if I can kill 20 enemies in a single room. I might be able to. There we go. Damage from behind seems like it's going to be hard to pull off. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Extra greed kill time limit? Hell yeah. Okay, let's just stay away from that. Remember if there's anything else. Nope. Oh, look at that item that I could have had if I had stayed with the hammer. Alas, it's okay. This spear is just that good. Hello. Yes, I would like to fight some more enemies, please. There we go. Oh. Enjoy your poison. I'll be here collecting money. As I do. Hello. After parry, main weapon deals critical damage. I could go for it, but let's take the gold. Like, it's a decent shield. I'm just not going to use it even if I did pick it up. Okay, damage and treasure finds. Oh boy, these get pricier. Rude. That's why I want to get all the stats early on. I guess we do get more money as we go too. Eh, mixed feelings. I am a stat machine. What is my treasure find at? Can I tell? 135%. Yeah, that would explain some things. Gold. Okay, so we fought nine enemies in that room. Not enough. What about here, though? Oh. Balls, I did that wrong. I knew you have to destroy one of them in sequence. I just got the wrong one. There goes one. Gosh, this spear is so good. If only, if only I had that spear from that previous run where I got multiple. It's really making me regret go for the spear though. Um. That's a, that's a heck of a room. Okay, let's take a look at this. Alright, there we go. I'm digging all these cool-ass trap rooms for me to do, do things in and explore and whatever. Unfortunately, I want enemies to fight. I gotta get rid of my corruption somehow. And the amount of enemies, foes, that we have discovered so far, wildly insufficient for my needs. I rolled bad, and I feel bad. Let's just take the money. I guess the extra stats would have been nice, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, reduce my corruption? Yeah. Unfortunately, that doesn't put me back down a level. 
spear my spear too much. I don't like it. Fight me! Ooh. I... I like the mace, but I'm gonna take the silver stars. If only because the silver stars, uh, perfect dodges trigger a volley of projectiles. That's super helpful, considering I'm not attacking much, and so having that as a bonus feature. That's why I picked them up. Unfortunately, they don't do a whole lot of damage, which is kind of a letdown, but eh, it is what it is. Man, this is good. Blinding Greed. Gold disappear. Gold on ground disappears, but the amount goes up. Alright, that's the one we want to get rid of. I like the bonus money, but it really does screw me over. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Because gold offerings reducing corruption is nice. I guess that's not so bad. That used to be a hell of a lot shorter. I'm so glad perfect dodges extend the greed timer now. I gotta be better at timing them though. A lot easier when I'm not right next to an enemy. Oh gosh. Yeah. Bonus damage, bonus treasure finds. Like that's that's two choice. What's this? Boring. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? I'm not being as thorough as I'd like to be. Aha! Wait, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not big on that one. I'll take the HP, especially because we're getting, we're getting close to a boss fight. I don't, we're not there yet, but we're getting closer. Uh, let's see. So do I want to go attributes, weapon upgrade, or just attributes, money, stats? Uh, no, let's go attributes, weapon, relic. Or maybe weapon upgrade and then question mark. Because we're about to end this run. There's only, there's only two bosses on this run. Oh, it's this one. Oh, it's this one. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. Luckily, I do stupid damage here, which is making this a lot easier. Sir. Stop healing. Oh! I forgot you can actually get this guy to friendly fire? Really? I forgot he could do that. Uh let's see, do we want the Smith and Wesson? Yeah, I'll take it. My corruption's doing fine. Okay, let's go for the max health. We actually haven't picked a whole lot up. I'd like the bonus damage, but I'm I'm already doing a lot of damage. Yeah, let's upgrade my weapon. If I can get this spear to be mighty, we'll be in a good good place and a good time. Delete you from existence. Skyhammer and the world of tomorrow. Let's get rid of that. 
couple weeks ago, Shell and I were watching, uh, or wanted to watch a movie, and she mentioned she had never seen The Rocketeer. Ow! And me, being an absolute dongus, mixed The Rocketeer up with Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. I like Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. I did not like The Rocketeer that much. So far, doing so good so far. I There are moments where I take boatloads of damage. But most of the time, I'm just kicking ass. So. Own it. Get cursed as heck. Do some more damage with the skeleton. Or uh, with the scorpion spear. We're about to go into a big boss fight. Okay, let's go for the unknown. My health is doing fine. We get another curse. I think we'll be okay. Is chat frozen or is everybody just like riveted by this game? Other curses are unknown as long as this one is not lift lifted. Wow, that act that actually that's fine. Uh, let's see. Pick that up. Full health. Watching. Just watching the game. Okay. It's rare for me to have this many viewers and it being just totally silent. It's wild. Okay, you. Now... Historically, this boss... Boy, howdy! Historically, this boss is spooky. I might have to have... Okay. So I rolled him. I'm glad we picked up this Smith & Wesson. I'm very glad we picked up this... this, uh, throwing... knife. Yeah, I, I knew this... this throwing dagger would be insane. Especially with the damage bonus. We're just going all in on damage. If I can. He's not so bad. They really made these guys easier, or I'm just better at them? I think I'm just equal parts. I, I think it's both. It doesn't the spear do well in the dark. It does. Uh, the main thing I was trying to avoid taking too much damage, because these guys can hurt real bad, but I stacked enough stats that it didn't really matter. Where are the religious references when they made this boss? Well, considering this game is entirely based on Aztec or Mayan, I think, uh, it, it's one or it's one or the other. It's straight up based on religious figures from those cultures. So yeah, go figure, it actually does have religious overtones. It's just not the religious overtones we might be used to. 
That was a great run, though. I feel proud of myself. Let's um, let's unlock two-handed weapons just so I can potentially start with a hammer. Or a spear, you know, as you do. Actually, do you want to try this one? I haven't really done bow. Yeah, let's do that. 